Good afternoon, and welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to all the mods. So I apologize there wasn't a video the other day. Um, the server crashed, and I lost a little bit of progress, but not too, too much. Uh, basically, I was trying, I was working out here um, pretty heavily, and I was trying to move uh, this attune stuff a little bit, but whenever I tried to break it, it crashed. So we're just going to leave it alone for now. Um, cause I'm working out here and then next up I'm going to be moving all this abyssal craft stuff, um, to the abyssal craft room and so on and start working on there and, oh man, but it, whenever it crashes, like it'll, you know, sometimes it'll be down for a little while and it's just like, I can't work on it at all. So, um, but anyway, um, today the first thing that I want to jump into, I did go ahead and I grinded up a couple weak blood shards. Um, I thought we had some, but I couldn't find them. Um, so anyway, let's just grab some stone and a blood shard and get our 16 large bloodstone bricks. And, of course, today we're going to be working on a little bit of blood magic, get, getting back into that. And I'm actually going to be moving, um, whoops, I'm actually going to be moving the, um, the altar in just a second. So, off camera, but, um, we need to make ourselves... These bloodstone bricks. The expensiver ones. The more expensive ones. Um, so that'll get us those. And now we've got ourselves our tier 4 altar. Yeah. Um, and I noticed earlier when I was using this, like, the sacrificial dagger, like, this regen can keep up fairly well. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> but anyway, I'm not going to... I'm not going to use that. Now, the next thing that I want to do, the reason I wanted the Tier 4 um, altar before I move the uh, the whole shebang is because I want a Ritual Diviner that can do Dusk Runes. So, we haven't actually gotten to the Ritual Diviner yet. Um, we are going to need Obsidian. Yeah, because we're going to have to bake the base version. Obsidian, Magma Cream, Gas Tier, and a Block of Lapis. Okay, I actually, I don't have a gas tier anymore. I think I used all of the ones that I had or whatever. So I'm going to have to go get one, so give me just a moment. Alright, I've been flying around the nether for a bit and couldn't find a gas. So we're going to just get in a little bit into calculator. Um, I do need to get this plugged up with power. But anyway, this is the stone separator. And um, I just want some basic stuff from calculator. I want some of this reinforced iron. And then I'm also going to want... Um, I had some calculator stuff, but it got lost in whenever I died that one time. Um, so let's go ahead and we're just going to get just a standard calculator. Because I'm going to need to add gold with redstone. And it looks like our stone separator is done. So we got some of these small stones and then some of this reinforced iron. Now the small stone can be used for um, pretty much anything like stone dust basically what it is um, <clears throat> but we don't really need this stuff um, what we wanted was the reinforced iron and then we're also going to want to add using this okay I wasn't sure if it would work with the wireless but it is it's getting wireless power um, we're gonna add gold and redstone together to get enriched gold and the calculator mod for those of you that don't know we'll get into it more later on but um, I guess today we're going to be also covering the basics of that. Um, anyway, the way it works is it's all math problems. So maybe, you know, in this case, gold plus redstone equals um, enriched gold. And um, then you'll start doing division and multiplication and all of that. Um, what we're wanting is we're wanting a flawless calculator, which can handle... Uh, larger equations so now that we've got that let's take a look at this flawless calculator we're going to need this flawless assembly this advanced assembly so we're going to need some some calculator assembly is actually really really easy i'm going to go ahead and make like a stack of that stuff and then these atomic modules just take calculator assembly and um tanzanite so we've got some of that stuff i'm going to grab i think four of those is all we need I think. And then we can get our atomic assembly. And then from there, our diamond assembly. But we need 
but we need more advanced assemblies. Then we can get our diamond assembly or our flawless assembly. And then with a calculator screen, which this is just redstone and cobblestone, and we can get with just, oh yeah, we're going to need flawless diamonds. Okay, we're going to need an atomic calculator. And then an end diamond is also in the atomic calculator. Okay, so we're going to need our atomic calculator first before we can do this. All right, the atomic calculator, this actually requires a, an atomic assembly, so we're going to have to... Um, didn't I make just make one of those? No, I bumped it up to a flawless, didn't I? I did, I did. Okay, so we're going to need advanced assembly. We're going to need atomic alloy or module and our atomic assembly. And then we're also going to need some of this reinforced stone. You can get this just by adding... Um, wood to cobblestone so let's get we'll get a couple pieces of that add it together get our reinforced stone so the atomic calculator there we go and this one's actually a block so we'll go set this up say right here and now we've got our atomic calculator and we're getting like oh yeah I was about to I was about to teleport to the deep dark whoops <clears throat> and so now, to get our flawless diamonds, which we're going to need four of those, we're going to need to add diamond with an atomic binder and another diamond. So atomic binder is just like that, and we're going to need more of that enriched gold. All right, so now we've got our atomic binder. We only really need one craft of this, um, at least at the moment. And then let's get ourselves some diamonds. Actually, I'm going to need more than that. I don't know what I'm thinking actually got a little bit extra but if we add diamonds atomic binder and diamonds together that's gonna get us our flawless diamonds now we just need our end diamond haha <laughs> and we just need one of these we're gonna need in stone obsidian and electric diamonds which electric diamonds we're gonna need to get into the conductor mast so I'm um, using fire diamonds um, so let's go ahead I guess uh, we'll go ahead and get the fire diamond first and then we could just add blaze rod blaze rod flawless diamond get the fire diamond and um, so for the atomic mast or the conductor mast sorry um, let's see we're gonna need another fire diamond and then two of these energy modules which we're going to have to get a scientific calculator. I used to have one of these, but now I don't. And we're going to have to divide the power cube by purified coal to get the energy module. So this is fairly easy. Um, oops. So let's go ahead and get a couple of the power cubes. And then I'm also going to want a scientific calculator. And there's our scientific calculator. So next up... We are going to need some purified coal, which is enriched coal minus, or divided by enriched gold ingot. So enriched coal is just coal plus redstone. So let me go ahead, and we'll go ahead and add our redstone and coal together, get our enriched coal, and then we just need some of that enriched gold. I'm going to do just half of it for right now. So enriched coal divided by enriched gold gets us our purified coal. Now we can take our power cubes, divide them by purified coal, get our energy modules, and this has still got purified coal in it, okay. And now what we can do is use our atomic calculator and combine, add these energy modules and this fire diamond and get our conductor mast. So, let's see, where do I want to set this up at? And I guess for right now, we're just going to put it right up here. Um, it's going to have to get struck by lightning. <laughs> so, uh, it could be a little bit of a wait. Um, but for our electric diamond, we're going to have to do that um, with the fire diamond. So, let me go get another fire diamond. I'm going to throw it in that conductor mask and, mast, and we're going to 
we're gonna be waiting for lightning I guess and there we go we got our electric diamond and you'll notice it's got two seconds it's about to get hit again pow um, wait time is tomorrow basically it's gonna usually update you and tell you you know kinda how long you've got to wait on that it doesn't have to be um, a storm or anything um, for that conductor mass to get lightning so anyway, now we've got our electric diamond. And that'll get us our end diamond. Haha. -ha. So now we should be able to craft our flawless calculator. <laughs> At long last. So there's our flawless calculator. Now the reason that I wanted this is because... Why do we not have many blaze rods? That's okay, I just need one really. Or I mean, I just need four. Um, I'm going to have to sip a blaze spawner. Fairly soon. Um, but anyway, if we add a blaze rod with a blaze rod and then divide it by a blaze rod and then add a blaze rod <laughs> that's going to get us a gas tier so good stuff i'll go ahead and throw this flawless calculator into our tools and now we're ready to make our ritual diviner so good stuff let's go ahead convert the gas tier and now we can get our ritual diviner good stuff and now we want to upgrade it to the dusk version so it takes a couple of these demonic slates we are going to need the tier 4 altar I'm going to have to convert some of these imbued slates but I went ahead and made some of those so that's not going to be a problem uh, it'll just take a second and then we need two of these dusk inscription tools which just are blocks of coal um, ran through so that's not it's not really a problem I'm sorry we only need two but we got four that's fine um, and we got our dusk ritual diviner so now that we got that, give me a minute. I've got to get some ritual stones together, and I'm going to go ahead and move our altar now. Um, and I'm going to move it over into this tower. So it'll take just a minute to get everything uh, switched over and all that. But I'll be back in a moment. Okay, silly me. I did not realize that we had a ritual diviner in here. So um, now we've got an extra. Um, anyway, you guys got to see calculators, so that's always good. Um, but let's go ahead, we're going to set up our ritual. Alright, we're going to set up our ritual here, and it's my ritual diviner. I've already got it set to Well of Suffering, which is the one that we're going to use. So let's go ahead and lay this out. I think I've got enough um, ritual stones. Yep, there we go. And now, if we just smack it to activate... There we go. And it's going to start draining the mobs. And all that's going to go into our blood altar. Now I'm going to go ahead and put our blood orb into here. This does drain a little bit. Um, it's not a whole lot, honestly. But um, it does drain a little bit of life points, but it makes up for what it drains, you know, with what it creates. Now I've got the energy disconnected right now because I want to go ahead and set up an emergency shutoff for the mobs just in case something was to happen or whatnot. So let's get ourselves just some insulated redstone conduit and a, uh, for now I'm just going to do a lever. That'd be fine. And let's pop on back over here. And I am going to spruce up this room. <laughs> I was just waiting until I got the, the blood altar moved in. Um, and everything before I um, changed it up or you know whatnot so let's go ahead we'll plug in our insulated redstone conduit there and we'll just run this up and then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it in like right there and we'll put our lever there we go I had to turn it it like popped off whenever I did it <laughs> when it was facing the other way um, but now whenever we pull this lever, it activates the redstone signal. And so we're going to say, you're going to run with a signal, and we're going to leave this turned on. So if we need to turn it off, we can just shut it off. Um, now I'm all good and well. Let me go ahead and actually turn this off for right now, because I want to put just some walls in there so that the... Right now it's Wither Skeletons, I'll probably change it, and that's probably going to be like maybe our Blaze Spawner. Um, just because that way we've got just basically a free spawner that's killing and all that good stuff. 
that we're going to have to use anyway. But for right now, it's just wither skeletons. All right, we're going to go with a bit of alabaster for now. I mean, this stuff's going to be underground. We probably won't even see it. But just to be on the safe side, I don't want the wither skeletons getting out or, you know, whatever. So we're just going to kind of wall this in a little bit. This is going to be there. Okay. And there we go. We've got a nice little area underneath the altar here where our mobs can spawn. Um, and now before I start running it, because of course there's going to be a ton of items. And I tell you what, for right now, this is very, very temporary. This should be gone by next next episode. But I'm going to go ahead and fill this in for the time being with just some alabaster. Just so we don't fall into there or whatever. Unless we specifically want to. Alright, and then the last thing that I want to do is I want to set up a trash system. Now oh, this is probably not the best place, right? to have open because I can't get down there um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set up say all right we're gonna do a vacuum chest right here and I want to go ahead and break that redstone signal I don't want that and for right now this is just gonna go straight into a trash can but um, later on if I set up a blaze spawner what we'll do is we'll have you know the, the items that we want we'll have them go out into um, into storage and then uh, you know whatever's whatever we don't want it will get trashed so we'll set that in there and go ahead and just fill that in with something so now if we activate this oh you know what I one more thing I forgot <laughs> the sound muffler because we don't want to listen to this we definitely definitely do not want to be listening to this so we'll just put the sound muffler down right there it will make the area a little bit quiet for us too, but that's okay. Um, so now we'll turn that on and we should be good on blood from now on. So for example, let me grab this weak blood uh, shard and we'll go ahead and make our new blood orb. Okay, I am probably going to end up changing that over for a soul shard spawner. I'm gonna have to make a new one. Um, so I'm not gonna do it this episode, but that's not really fast enough. Like if I throw this in there, You'll notice it doesn't really keep up with our demand. And we are going to have to have that quite a bit faster. So, I mean, I can still make things. That's not a problem. And it's going to work for a little while. But the only option really is to either add maybe three more Ender IO spawners into the area or um, do a Soul Shard spawner. And honestly, the Soul Shard spawner, it's not going to... Um, use up any energy or any of that. It's not going to have any kind of overhead. So we may switch it out for that. Usually that's how I set these up is with those. So that's probably what I'm going to do is change those over. Um, so hopefully by next episode I'll have this room spruced up and I'll have a soul shard spawner um, down there. But uh, And then we can just of course plug it up with the lever and it'll all work the same. The only concern I have is soul shards has been... I don't know specifically if it's Soul Shards or maybe it's the um, Draconic Evolution Grinder or something's not working when I'm not online or something. It's either the, soul, the spawner is working and the grinder's not. I don't know. It's something because those mobs pile up when I'm not online and then it, it's really hard for me to get back online. That's why I've got those turned off right now and the Soul Shards put up because it, you know, it's just been acting up on me. So um, I'm going to play around with it and see what I can do, I'll probably end up going soul shards. So, but anyway, now we have, at least we have a blood altar that's automatically producing blood. So if nothing else, we can keep our life network filled or our soul network. Um, but hopefully by next episode, this will be spruced up and I can show you like how powerful it really is. Because with like a soul shards spawner, basically that thing stays filled. I mean, there's just monsters all down in there and this stays filled. So... Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry about the random calculator <laughs> sidetrack thing there. But uh, hopefully if you guys were curious about calculator, that's a little bit of the possibilities. There's still a lot more with calculator. So if you guys want to see more uh, fairly soon, do let me know. And I will definitely, definitely get into that. Um, by next episode, I'm hoping to have this courtyard done too, maybe. If, I, if the server doesn't crash and I you know, can get on and everything. 
So anyways, um, I hope you guys join me for next episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button, and go ahead and subscribe for more daily videos. Um, also, if you guys didn't see, I did start up. It it just kind of happened. The uh, TSG group, um, it was Sheridan that created the pack. Um, I'm sure you guys remember him from the UHC. Um, he was one of my partners in that, and then he created the pack, and then Stalker, which is the head of TSG, um, actually created the map for it, but there is a uh, Crash Landing Forever, and I did the first episode, I couldn't resist, you know, I've got a lot on my plate, but I could not resist Crash Landing Forever, so um, there is a video for that, definitely check out the pack, it's on the Curse Launcher, and, um, and... Also, a really big thank you once again to Crimson Studios for the intro. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, there'll be a link down below. Be sure, head on over, let Crimson know what you think, and um, and let me know what you think too. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to end it there. Um, until next time, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you guys next time.